First on Fox tonight, rivers around the Quad Cities continue to rise. Now people have no choice but to wait for that water to recede. That's tonight's top story. The Mississippi River is now higher than 17 feet. That's impacting Davenport directly. The city closed parts of Concord Street because of the water. River Drive between 3rd and Brady Streets is now blocked by a flood barrier. Water now covers a large section of LeClaire Park as well, but that doesn't seem to be keeping people away from it. Fox 18's Grace Runkle joins us in the studio with that. Grace? Jim, we were tracking flooding for about three hours today in LeClaire Park, and as the winds picked up and the water started coming in, so did the people. They say this is the best time to take in the view. I just like to come see, see how high the water is. It just amazes me. For Nancy Lawfulhulls, coming down to the flooded Mississippi River is a tradition. I've seen it a lot higher than this before. I've seen it clear up to 3rd Street. Get out of there. We're going to be in the mud. One she's now passing down to her three grandsons. If it rained more, it'll, it'll reach all the way up to a hill. Adam Oderick has a close connection to the river. Three years ago, he canoed down the Mississippi from St. Paul. I canoed down with weather just like today um, really gives you an appreciation of Mother Nature around us. and. So it's just kind of a moment that you can come and put everything into perspective. And it reminds him just how powerful the Mississippi is. You get the really big waves like that, you have a really fast current. Once in a while it turns up like this and it can get you a little bit scared for your life. And while this flooding isn't breaking any records, it's still making these Quad Cityans step back and say, Wow. Right now, the Mississippi is still expected to rise about a foot and a half with it cresting Sunday afternoon. In the studio, Grace Runkle, Fox 18 News.